Hello everybody, Camp Counselor Kevin here, back with you with another video from Camp Dragoncraft. This time, we are going to build a greenhouse. Kind of like this one. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, we are back in a different location. Uh, not at Camp Dragoncraft anymore, we just went to a remote area so we can build this greenhouse. Now let me show you what I've done so far. I plotted out an area of land. And I'm going to make my plantings three by three, so nine blocks. And I'm going to do eight of them, okay? You can do as many as you want. You can do one. You can do four. You can do as many as you want. And what I did here is I'm making the, the main walkway too wide this time. And I want you to dig everything too deep, okay? So this is the main walkway. It's going to be two slabs wide. And around here, all around each side, it's going to be covered in water. But I'm going to do something a little different. You guys won't have these sea lanterns, probably. This is a 1.8 version of Minecraft. Uh, but you can, you'll have glowstone, so you can use glowstone. But what this does is just lights things up. Um, it's not really realistic. You know, if you're building in survival, you're not going to be able to do this. But we are doing a creative, so we can do whatever we want. And I'm just trying to give you a little bit of inspiration for your own greenhouse. And this is what I like to do. I think it looks super cool. And you know, it's going to get dark here in a minute, so we need some light anyway. Um, and it's not going to just look like this. We're going to cover stuff up. Uh, I love how that sounds when you break it. Um, I'm making myself dizzy. I hope you're not getting dizzy with me. Um, so we're going to fill this all around the edges, all along the bottom. Oops, fill it with this lantern or glowstone, whichever you prefer, or nothing. You don't have to use this. These are just some ideas. Okay, there we go. Now we are going to fill in with water. Okay, water on top. And I'm going to show you a trick. If you are in survival and you have one bucket, you can fill two. You only need to do it twice. So look, there it one's full. And see how it's flowing down from one block? Now move over two blocks. One, two. And look, now you have standing water. So you can take water from this every time and just keep refilling rather than having to run back to the river. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to hold it down and fill the whole thing so there's no running water anywhere. Uh, fill it in, fill it in. Creative, you know, you have to go back and refill re uh, your bucket. You just, it's always full. You never, oh, that's not cool. All right, let's fill that in. I don't want water flowing through, uh, flowing through my crops. I want it flowing along the side of the crops. We call this irrigation, right? Okay, no more flowing water. Bam, done. Perfect. Okay, now, oops, no, no, don't try to trick me. Okay, there we go. Now, we are going to build the walkway, okay? Oh, you got me again. Okay, did you hear it flowing? Okay, now we're going to take slabs to build the walkway, okay? Break those and just build the walkway like that. We're going to stop it there. I'll show you why. Okay. Just go back and forth, back and forth. These are, you've heard of raised flower beds or raised vegetable garden. This is going to be a lowered. It's going to be a little bit lower than the walkway these fields are. Okay. But these are going to be the walkway. And you'll see in just a minute if you can't see it yet. You will see it. But we're not going to, you're not going to be able to see any of the water after we're done. Okay. Now we're going to build this side. This is what the walkway looks like. You see where the beds are, the, the uh, planter beds? Okay, we're going to build the outer wall of this greenhouse. Oh, no, we don't want that there. That's our opening, and we'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, let's just go all the way back and watch out. Here we go. Aha, I knew that was going to happen. I tried to slow it down a little bit. Come on over here. By the way, this will look different than a lot of your guys' um, screens because I'm using a texture pack. I'm using the Chrome Hills texture pack. You guys might not have texture packs, so it'll look different, but it'll still look cool, okay? Here, I'm actually going to block this water because the door won't open um, if you don't, uh, unless we make it come out here, which we can do. Uh, we can do that if we want and break this here, have the stone walkway like that. Let's try this, all right? Have the stone walkway like that this here. Block those two. Okay? Let's do it like that. Alright, now we are going to build the walls. And we are going to go, let's go three high. Okay, three high. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we got to do it in the corners. These are our support walls, our load-bearing walls. 
and you know a greenhouse has glass everywhere so we're gonna do that uh, I am gonna do double wide there one one two three one two three one two three and one two three okay now it's starting to take shape right let's look at it from in here you can see where all the windows are gonna be and we're gonna fill those in right now okay um, I use just regular glass I think it looks cool in this texture pack but you know they have all different kinds of stained glass so if you want to use stained glass you can um, that's harder in survival if you're building this in survival because you have to get a bunch of dye and you have to craft it with the you have to cook the sand to make the glass and you have to get the dye and craft it to what color you want and then you have to craft the uh, dye with the glass so it's just some extra steps and a little more work in survival but in creative of course you can just pick up those blocks no problem so you might like stained glass okay there how about that pretty good right okay now this is where it gets a little tricky because the corners looked a little strange but we're gonna do this okay now we're gonna curve in okay curve it in because we're gonna start making the roof now and you know how the roofs cave up whoop, whoop, bop. so I'm doing this um, and I'm breaking those edges okay so it looks see how it's curving in like that okay there now we got those now this is where it gets tricky because I can never get the corners to look how I want them to and so I think I think I might just leave them this time but now let's do the uh, side of the roof I have a glass siding here um, this is see this part I'm just not sure of yet in the corners let's just leave it for now okay leave it for now and we're gonna make the turn of the roof here I think we'll oops I think we'll do it one more one more steep one more step whatever you like to call it and I'm gonna do this here I'll show you what if this is the walkway the doors are too high okay two blocks high so I'm gonna put that in there like that and I think what I'll do is I'll just put a block up here okay it looks kind of mm, you know what I'm not going to do that I'm going to make it more airy looking brighter I think that looks cooler okay now we're going to bring it out one more bam 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 boom bam boom bing boom boom bing boom bump boop okay bring it out one more each of these load bearing walls okay now let's fill it in here with your glass this is going to be a Camp Dragon Craft greenhouse. Try to maneuver around without making our sick screen spinning all over the place. Sometimes when you watch videos of people doing it, they move so quick and you're like, oh, 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 out of control. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to collect the beam. Connect, connect, not collect, connect the beams. Okay. Beep ba doo. And a boop de doo de doo. Okay. All right. So you see where it looks from up here. Now we gotta close it up, right? We gotta close it up with the glass. Close it up. I'm trying to hurry so that you guys don't see the end product. But you can pause the video whenever you want if you're copying, um, or you know, using an inspiration. You can make pause. I'm gonna do glowstone for lighting on top, and we're gonna do it like. You know what? We're going to do it on the inside, okay? Because our roof is high enough. Oh, oh, you see what I did? Nuts. Okay, let's do this. And let's do... You know what I'm going to do? I know what I did, silly me. Come on, Kevin, come on. That's what I did. I brought it back too far. I made it two blocks back for a reason. And that's the reason. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna make these hang like that. So we got a little extra lighting there. Uh oh, you guys gotta tell me I've missed those. Okay, so we got lighting here now. We got lighting. All right, let's start planting. What do you say? I'm gonna just put, now put a stone um, slab on each side here, okay? There, there, there. Okay, I'll show you why later. Okay, let's get our hoe. We have our hoe here. And now what you want to do is right click the hoe to plow the field. Okay? 
So plow all the fields except for, I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to leave the ones in the back. I think what we'll do is we'll do this one back here. Bear with me and I'm going to explain why. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch this to sand. And I'll explain why in just a second, okay? It'll all make sense, I promise. I promise. Oops. I promise. Maybe you guys see where I'm going with it, planting. Do you know what I plant with, uh, what you plant sand in sand? You'll find out, okay? Okay, here we're going to do something different. We are going to do melon and watermelon. And what you have to do is you have to uh, plow part of the field, and then the melon grows onto the non-plowed field. And same with a pumpkin. So we're going to do that just like that, okay? Okay, now we got our water. See, it's starting to hydrate the uh, ground. Um, and that'll all fill in eventually. Now let's go have some fun and pick out our crops, okay? Or they don't have to be crops. They can be flowers. We're going to get some flowers. Ooh, cactus. We could do cactus if we want. But I'm not going to do it on this one. I need to get some seeds. Where are you? Seeds are down here. Okay, I got some regular seeds for wheat. I got some pumpkin seeds. I got some melon seeds. Cocoa. We're not going to do cocoa, but we are going to do sugar cane. Okay, I'm going to do sugar cane. And then we're going to go into the food stuffs and get carrots. Got to plant carrots. And we got to plant potatoes. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what are we going to do for the eighth? I do not know. We will find out. Okay, let's organize where we're going to put stuff. I'll tell you guys first. First off, sugar cane. It's usually found in sand, right? So we're going to plant around the edge like that. Now you can't plant in the middle because it has to be alongside water. And remember, water is hidden under here. So you can't plant one in the middle. But what I might do is I might just do this. I might just put water in there because it looks kind of cool, don't you think? Okay, let's do, uh, that's green, let's do pumpkin seeds, green next to orange. Okay, now I can't see them in there, but they are in there. Let's get our bone meal, where is it, where is it, bone meal? Do the search, type in bone, there it is. This looks different in the 1.7 version, or sorry, in the, um, the regular standard texture pack, this looks completely different, so just ignore that for now, okay? Um, I am going to toss the water, we don't need it and put bone meal there. Oh, escape. Okay, now let's make this grow. Okay, there we go. See, that's the pumpkin vine. And hopefully, you will see a pumpkin sprout before we're done. We're going to do melon over here. Watermelon. See, I got it planted in there. You just can't tell. And we'll make it grow. Ba 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 I hope I did. Did I do melon? I mean, yeah, okay. All right, so now we got pumpkin here, watermelon there. Let's do let's do wheat here okay plant the wheat plant the wheat and then we'll make it grow this is miracle grow minecraft miracle grow if you're playing in survival you probably might want to just let it grow okay because bones are usually in high demand and oh i messed up i am going to go back here i'm going to take my grass and i'm going to plant flowers here this time okay so I don't want to have a dirt top uh, or a plowed look. I want to have just nice grass. Okay. And we're going to do purple flowers. Nice color there. Okay, looks nice. And we're going to do some carrots over here. Carrots, 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 carrots. I'm right-clicking to place them. And then I'm right-clicking the bone meal to grow them. I'll just hold it down. I like to click, 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 but you can hold it down as well. And then we're going to do potatoes which are yummy when cooked and they give almost as much uh, health regen as steak does. You know, steak is the best food to eat, other than golden apples, of course. Okay, so now it's taking shape, right? Now what should we do back here? What should we do? Let's take a minute to figure it out, okay? We could do cactus. Let's not do cactus. Let's do something fun like birch saplings. Now, these are not going to grow. Because the birch tree is taller than that. Hey, nobody told me I missed that. Look at that. But we're going to plant birch trees here. And I think I'm going to change it back to grass. Okay, instead of the plowed dirt. Because I think it'll look better. And watch this. Let's check it out. I think these just look really cool as plants. 
Don't you think so? I think it looks really neat. Um, and that'll turn out great. Now, let's do this. Let's go in and get a chest. Trade for that. And we're going to put chests here. Remember I raised up the block? I did that because if you just put it on a slab, see it's hovering? Doesn't look cool, does it? Let's put them all along here. Now, unfortunately, um, let's see. Yeah, there is going to be enough. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to go in and get item frame here. Trade. And we're going to put one there over each chest. Okay. Over each chest. And we're going to just put here. We're just going to place in here what we have planted. And then we're going to put that in there, the seeds in there. Okay, so we have sugar cane in there on the left side. Left sugar cane, right birch. Here we have, oh no, do we have melon? I think we planted watermelon, right? Okay, so let's put the melon seeds in there and let's go get the watermelon blocks. Where are you? Here's watermelon and here's pumpkin. Yeah, let's use the jack-o'-lantern because it looks cool. Boop, watermelon. Doesn't look great, but it looks okay. And we need to go get the wheat. Where are you, wheat? I think you are here. There you are. Okay, so let's place the wheat in there. And we can put that in there with the seeds. So you can, in survival, you can store all your seeds in there. And here's the carrots to the right of here. I'll put the carrots in there. Over here we have the flowers, but I dropped it, so we're not going to put it in there. There's the potato. Put the potato in. These are the pumpkins. Let's, oh, that looks great, doesn't it? Let's put the pumpkins in. And I guess we can go back and get the flowers. Just because I want it to be complete. I'm going to grab cobwebs. I'll show you why. Boop, boop. Oh, there's a creeper out there. Hey, guy. Oops. I was just going to wave and look what happened. That's what you get for trying to be nice. But that's okay because I had to fix over here anyway, didn't I? And right there. Did you guys remember? Didn't remind me the first time. Okay. Now we got that all set up. Looking good. Everything's looking good. Now we want this to look used like it's been here for a while. So let's put some cobwebs, okay? There, because when they're greenhouse, you know it's warm in there. Um, spiders probably like to come in there, don't you think? Let's put some cobwebs up here. I don't like it there. Right there. And how about one right here? Okay, there, there, and there. That looks kind of forced. How about there? Yeah. All right, how about that? Now we got to get a door. Let's get our door from the redstone section. And I want to do the spruce wooda door. And I'll do here. No, I don't want it outside. I want a little step in here. Okay, let's check it out. How about that? What do you think? You like it? Do you like it? I'll wait for the pumpkins to grow. Come on, guys. Come on, pumpkin and watermelon. Anyway. This is our quick and easy, what has it been? 15, 20 minutes to build this greenhouse. It looks pretty good. Hey, hooray. Woo. I'm so excited about my pumpkin Yoni. Yay. That is our greenhouse at Camp Dragon Craft. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, um, let me know in the comments in the YouTube page. Oh, another one. Where's the melons? Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also, be sure to visit our Facebook page, Camp Dragon Craft page. And if you are in the club, or if you are doing the Minecraft Summer Camp, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope it provided you some inspiration and encouraged you or inspired you to go build your own greenhouse. Please come on, watermelons. I give up. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. This is Counselor Kevin signing off. Bye, everybody.